Hello friends. Welcome to Story Hour Online. So next Monday is Valentine's Day. Are you going to make some Valentine's Day cards? That sounds like fun. I hope you do. So for today's book, I have a really fun book, guys. I'm so excited. It's an oversized book. And when I say oversized, I mean it's oversized. Now, you'll have to forgive me. I got an oversized book in Valentine's by the same author that we read last week, Natasha Wayne. We read The the Night Before Groundhog Day. I like, I like that author. But I still want to enjoy the big book. Pictures by in, in uh, The Night Before Valentine's Day are by Heidi Patach. Now, give me a minute, because I have to put it on my display. It's a big book. was the night before Valentine's Day. And all through the town, children were busy not making a sound. They gathered, they gathered their scissors their glitter and glue, pink and red paper, and paintbrushes, too. They made cards that read, Will you be mine? And others that said, My true valentine. They trimmed giant hearts with stickers and lace and added an arrow in just the right place. Then marking the envelopes with each friend's name, they hoped that their friends were doing the same. And when they were done, they slept snug in their beds while visions of candy hearts danced in their heads. Look at the dog. The kid is snoring. So he's got the pillow over his ears. The very next morning, it was Valentine's Day. They grabbed all of their cards and went on their way. The classroom was decked out in red, pink, and white with balloons and streamers, so festive and bright. Someone dropped by with a giant bouquet. The teacher's holding a bouquet. It's a bouquet of flowers. Addressed to the teacher who blushed right away. That means her cheeks are turning red, friends. The card would sign from a secret admirer. But everyone knew it was Mr. O'Meyer. They 
played Pin the Heart and won Goofy Toys. And girls ran away from kissy face boys. The art teacher came and painted kids' faces. She put hearts on cheeks in sillier places. On their notes. And friend, there's our book. Isn't that funny? At last it was time to deliver the cards. Look, one for Lisa, Jim, and Bernard. They opened them up, read them, and smiled, and laughed at the cards that were totally wild. They, then they ate goodies, sweet cherries, and grapes, and drank punch with ice cubes and little heart shapes. And just when they thought the party was done, a knock on the door came at a quarter past one. That would be one fifteen in the afternoon, friends. Oh, my. And what to their wondering eyes should appear but the principal himself dressed in full Cupid gear. His arrows held golden, his bow curved and tight. The wig that he wore was a comical sight. He spoke not a word and was gone in a minute, leaving a present behind. Now what could be in it? They read Cupid's note as he leapt down the hall. Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all. Aww. Happy Valentine's Day. To one and to all. The end. What do you think, friends? Did you like that book? I'll have to get those more often, maybe. I think they're fun. So my craft idea is quite simple. I want you to make valentines for your friends and family and hand them out you know next sunday or monday monday's valentine's day but you know show them that you love them and that you care for them just have one more thing friends and that is this is my heart for you thanks for joining me i hope you have a good week and i'll see you next time Bye.